Hello everyone, as I promised, today we're gonna do uh, a tutorial how to install LAN launcher into your, your P I mean into your PD2 so you can launch PD2 in LAN. This is only for learning purposes. If you doing uh, or you downloading PD from somewhere else that Steam it's your business. I'm downloading downloading it's it's from Steam and I'm gonna show you how. Um, this is how I run, you see? Run game ID. I'm logging to my Steam. I'm hiding it for some reasons if Oracle gets nuts. But it's not my problem. Basically, yeah. That's the game. I'm showing you. That's about it. And yeah. So uh yeah, this is a uh, Steam, but I'm going to show you how to make it um uh, LAN of any version of PD2 and it works online. I mean, in LAN perfectly. If you if you're using Tango, it will work online. So now, to show you that it works uh, unoriginal too, this is a totally different launcher. It's um, you see, it's a very strange name. It's Play PD2 and the full name of Axe, but it's actually a shortcut of launcher and more. And that's about it. it doesn't show me to buy anything. So yeah, how I achieved this? Well, it's very easy actually. And yeah, so I'm gonna pop a link. That's how it looks. It's a Dropbox link. And these links are photos how to set up your launcher. Keep in mind that uh, save from Steam and save from LAN launcher are totally two different things. So it go won't gonna work, and you, you can copy it and convert it and rename it as long as you want it. You won't gonna use the saves where they don't belong to. So if you're playing not original, I mean land launcher, you're gonna use simple smart Steam emu save type. If you're using Steam, you're gonna use different save type. I don't know what this is. So now what um, the link looks like. The link looks like this and uh, to show you more in our way how it should look it's gonna look like this. Yeah, it should look like this. So when you download it I'm gonna show you what to do next. So yeah. So when you download you get this. This is a rar file with the SSC launcher.exe and smart steam Actually that's exe. So yeah, you place these two files into the direction of your PD2. As you can see it uh up up here. That should be your direction. Program files, Steam, Smart, uh, I mean Steam apps, come on PD2. And right here, you put these two files right there. And replace if you had any other launcher, the SE launcher. And then it's not done yet. Um, you're gonna need to open SSC launcher that exit that you extracted. This is not necessary at all. It won't be contained. And you should appear this one. And this should be total blank. And to add a game, just press add game. Or just drop your exit into here. 
because I already did this I'm not gonna need it and I'm gonna show what is the setup and yeah from here you can launch the game and if you want to launch without opening this just press quit desktop shortcut and it should appear on your desktop so what is the setup the first time you're gonna add the game into this blank window it's gonna show this this is actually the place how it should be set it up keep in mind that this and this these two lines are totally same just you don't need this into this line as you can see in mine and this is app ID so you won't gonna mismatch our players make sure you make it like this 218620 and you can change these but I would recommend keeping it like this you can change your language not all languages are supported you might need some language changer or stuff like that so use global setting I could actually do English but low islands use global setting persist loader false it's not necessary it's only necessary for some strange Lua mods I guess uh, DLC manager you should uh, make your manager uh, you should uh, mark this and um, these two are gonna appear automatically it's not necessary but community would be good if you're a community member you should get the community this uh, makes all DLCs unlocked you won't gonna get one by one DLCs I'm just gonna get all I don't care and you set personal name and you here you input your name your nickname uh, so you can see true 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 nothing here because we don't need this true true false true and of course false false and this you can change that you can put in your for example you can type shift plus f10 it will gonna work shift plus tab isn't the best one or global setting isn't the best one because you should not press tab and shift at the same time because they're gonna join same room again this it's just for quick rejoin if you want so this one you're gonna use use custom settings global settings won't work port is like this 31 31 free maximum port 10 interval you can set it to lower but better set it to free if uh, something doesn't work make sure you have settings just like mine and here you're gonna type 255 point two five five and etc and just press add and it should appear like he uh, right here so when you're all done you're gonna cl uh, click save and you're gonna launch the game and it should launch properly if not I'm gonna tell what to do okay if it doesn't launch like that you're gonna go to properties go to game settings and uh, enable in-game voice press it to false it's not gonna it won't gonna work I tested already it's uh, buggy just set it to false because it if it won't launch when you pre play double press on this it's probably because you don't have a headset or microphone or something like that so it doesn't work make it false that's about it and from now on you can create your account in tangle and play in tangle that's about it there are plenty of uh, people here here but make sure to have latest updates if you are going to LT server here we are all having the latest the updates and my associate Ziara is gonna help me out um, so, Ziara, can you host? Yes. Host anything. When you go to Prime Net.
Thanks for watching and goodbye.